artist. Thank you so much for finding Larry for me. He is such a sneaky little fella. Aren't you, Larry? My friends, you have also have seen already a handout. This handout's on your computer screen, but I printed off so I can show you here. You will find a Larry line poem. We will do this poem together today. And it's also a coloring page, so if you want to print it off and you want to color it. I also have a how to make a snake finger puppet. If you would like to make your own Larry the snake to follow me along for the Larry the line poem. Don't I have a snake puppet? I would like you to make a pretend snake. You hold out one of your arms and then with your other hand, you make a little snake just like this. If you have made the snake puppet, I've made mine to look like Larry. You can slip that onto your finger. Please ask a loved one to help you if you need help. All right, artists. So follow along with me. Our Larry the Lion poem. Larry the Lion is a friend of mine. He can make three lines for me. He can make a vertical line. He can make a diagonal line. And he can make a horizontal line. Any curve, he can learn with a twist and a turn when he's out of his tangle. He makes a pretty great angle. Any line he can make, after all, he's a snake. So my artists, let's talk more about the lines that Larry showed us in the poem. All right, my artists, so Larry showed us many different lines. He showed us a horizontal line. A horizontal line is like a sleeping snake. It lays flat and goes from your left to your right. He also showed us a diagonal line. A diagonal line is when our line it's like a tilting line on its side. If it lost its balance, it could fall and become a horizontal line. A diagonal line is our tilted line. Like if we tilted our bodies to the side. The other line that Larry showed us is a line that has an angle. An angle happens when a line bends. Another line that Larry, Larry showed us when he got into his tangle could have been a spiral. A spiral line kind of looks like a snail shell or one of those really colorful lollipops. Another line is Larry's curved line. A curve is kind of like when we're driving on the road and instead of taking a really sharp turn, like an angle, it's when maybe we swerve slowly down the hill. A curved line that Larry showed us has a curve here, like a rainbow has a curve, like a U has a curve. And the last line Larry showed us is a vertical line. That is how we stand. We stand in a vertical line with our bodies when we're in the hall are waiting in line for the hall. We stand nice and tall and our bodies are straight. Our hands are to our side. That is a vertical line going up and down or down and up. All the lines we can make with the line that Larry so wonderfully showed us. We know that we could do a horizontal line across our board here. This is a straight line. There's no curves 
There's no angles. It's just straight and it's just flat. The next one is called a zigzag line. Zigzag lines look like uh, it has many different angles. It kind of looks like mountains or beads. So the zigzag line starts down, goes up to a point, and it goes back down again. Look at all the angles I'm making with my zigzag line. Feel free to follow along at home on a piece of paper if you would like to. The next line I'm going to show you is a line that I know you've seen. It is going to be a horizontal straight line again across this board. But when you think when I'm drawing it, it's called a dashed line. I like to think about maybe where you've seen this line before. When I draw this line, I draw, start to draw my straight line, then I jump. I draw another line and I just keep jumping until I get across to the other side of my paper. Now my artist, if you thought about this, this line looks sometimes when we're driving in our car like the line in the middle of the road. That is a dashed line. The next line I'm going to show you has a curve like Larry showed us the curved lines. Curved lines, done many, many times, are called wavy lines. You go up like you're making a hill and then down and around like a U, and you keep repeating that over and over and over. If you don't got it perfectly your first time, that's okay, my artist. Practice makes perfect. The last line I'm going to show you is probably our hardest line today. We're going to talk about our spiral. Our spiral is the one that looked like a snail shell. You're going to start with your marker, crayon, pencil, paintbrush, whatever you may have. You're going to start and you're just going to spin around and around where you started until you get yourself a spiral. Every time I see a spiral, I get a little hungry because it reminds me of those super yummy rainbow lollipops. Hello artists, I hope you learned lots and lots of new things about line and the wonderful things that it can make. Explore your classroom, see what I have for you in our virtual art room. I have some fun, exciting line lessons for you to try. Don't feel like you have to do them all artists. It's your choice. Most importantly though, have fun. See you soon, great job.